how to root Android 12 by using a custom recovery and the official build of Magisk. Hey peeps, what's up? Punchy here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root Android 12 by using a custom recovery and the official build of Magisk. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Of course, need to be running Android 12. Then you also need to have a custom recovery installed and you need to have an active internet connection on your device. Those of you who do not have a custom recovery are looking for a video on how to do this without a custom recovery. I do have a video linked in the description of this video which at the time of recording this video is for android 11 but i'm pretty sure i will be making a separate video for android 12 as well so look at the description if you do not have a custom recovery installed next thing we need to do is we need to go to the official website or the official github page of magisk because this is where you will find the latest and the greatest magisk apk so here it is releases page the latest apk at the time of recording this video is magisk version 23.0 and here in tap on assets you will get multiple files the file which we need is the magisk 23.0 apk and if you get a pop-up about downloading the file select okay and now it is downloading the file those of you who want to go through the source code feel free to download the source code zip or the tar file now the file has downloaded successfully next thing we need is a file manager application which will let you install apks and let you rename files i am using fx file manager you are free to use any file manager application which you want to so we are on the home page of fx file manager here in go into main storage go to the download folder why because this is where the magisk apk is downloaded by default first of all let us go ahead and install this and of course we do need to let fx file manager install apks on our device now once magisk has installed successfully we are going to open it why did we install it we installed it to check that our device is not rooted so here it is you can see on the top i have magisk installed as na the app version is 23.0 so at this point my device is not rooted i have only installed the magisk app and next thing we need to do is go back into fx file manager and herein we need to rename this file so right now it has the extension dot apk we are going to press and hold and once we have selected the file tap on the three dot menu on the top right and say rename herein go to the end and replace the dot apk with dot zip so we are giving this the name magisk hyphen version 23.0 dot zip and then select okay now updated versions of twrp recovery do let you flash the apk directly in the recovery but we are renaming it to dot zip so that it is a universal method because dot zip of course can be flashed from a custom recovery next thing press and hold on this file one more time and say copy once we've copied it we are going to tap on the clipboard on the right hand side and say paste and herein it is telling us that they are the same select ok to duplicate we will say ok this will duplicate the file for us and now we have another file but the name has brackets one in it so press and hold on this file and then three dot menu on the top right and say rename now press the delete or the backspace on the keyboard and this file we need to give the name uninstall.zip so we have given this the name uninstall.zip and select okay why did we create this second file we are creating this second file because if you run into a boot loop after flashing magisk go back into your custom recovery flash the uninstalled zip and magisk will be removed and you should boot back into your android 12 without any issues next thing i recommend you do is you can go into settings and then you can go into your security options remove your screen lock or password or fingerprint why are we doing this we are doing this because sometimes when you update android versions the recovery is not updated it does not support encryption for the latest android version and when you boot into recovery you see garbled or garbage characters to avoid that situation we are removing the pin you can of course add it later on once you have successfully rooted your device and once you remove the pin make sure you reboot your device once now once you have rebooted your device you're back into android we need to boot into our custom recovery and 
the process might be different for you for me it is turning the device off and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold power and volume up together till we see the recovery logo so power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo and here it is i do have the team win splash image on my device it did turn off let me press the power button swipe to unlock and bam here it is we are on the home screen of twrp recovery now once we are in twrp recovery we will go into install and now it should take you to your internal storage go into the download folder because this is where we have all the files which we had renamed and downloaded to install magisk or to root your device as easy as selecting this magisk hyphen version 23.0 or whatever the version is when you download it and then swipe to confirm flash now once the file has flashed successfully make sure you got no errors so here it is we are flashing magisk version 23.0 the installer did its thing there were no errors we got the message done and done twice at this point we have successfully rooted our device all you need to do is select reboot system so back into android let us unlock our device and then we can open the application drawer open magisk one more time and now you will notice that we have magisk installed version is 23.0 for the app it says installed is 23.0 as well so both of them are the same in some cases it might say magisk requires additional setup just select ok the device will automatically reboot and at this point our device is rooted now what if you get into a boot loop after flashing magisk well in that case all you need to do is while you are in the boot loop boot back into your custom recovery so let us assume i'm in the boot loop press and hold power and volume up together which is the key combination for booting into a custom recovery for my specific device and once i boot into my custom recovery all i need to do is i would go into install and this time around select the uninstall zip that's it and then swipe to confirm flash this is going to uninstall magisk unroot your device and as you can see everything was done without any issues we will go ahead and say reboot system but before that do note if you are unrooting your device the app will not be installed you have to remove it manually but for now we are trying to fix a boot loop so we renamed the file to uninstall.zip flashed it in our custom recovery and then now we are back on our boot logo or the boot animation and then once we boot back into android we can open the magisk app and check if we are still rooted or not so here it is we have booted back into android let us open the application drawer as i mentioned magisk app will not be removed but as you can see magisk installed says na the app is still there so all you need to do now is go ahead and go into application info and uninstall the application in case you want to unroot your device or if you are trying to recover from a boot loop and there it is peeps that is how you root android 12 by using a custom recovery and the official build of magisk magisk and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you